It's good to speak with you again, James. Um, today I'm looking forward uh, to hearing what you're working on now. I, I know you're located in, in Shenzhen at the moment and working with some innovation and some uh, dealing with maker spaces. And so I'd like to hear more about what it's all about. Uh, but could you please start by providing a brief background of yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, I've been in China now for over, a little over eight years in Shenzhen. Uh, I've been doing business in China since 2002 when I first came here for a company that I co-founded in uh, California. Uh, it was a uh, product that uh, was uh, was designed for children. It was a vert based uh, in, it was a real real toy. It was a plush toy uh, that uh, had a uh, connection to a cartoon universe, a virtual virtual world. Uh, this was in in the year 2000 where we were pioneering uh, this concept. Now there's a number of companies doing this. Uh, but that brought me to China for manufacturing our toy. And then I moved here in 2006. And uh, I've been, uh, since then, uh, assisting American companies primarily. I have a UK customer as well. And helping them do business in China and uh, setting up their supply chain, uh, helping them prototype product, whatever their need may be. And now in the last year, I've been working very closely with startup community here uh, in, in the, with the makers. Uh, you know, there's a tremendous amount of, of entrepreneurs and uh, engineers here in Shenzhen. And uh, some of them are moving away from the bigger companies they work for and developing their own product. But they need help with, uh, you know, with marketing, branding, and uh, getting their product into the Western world. So uh, that's uh, my focus right now, and, uh, and that's what's uh, got me more involved in dealing with uh, supply chain issues. And uh, you mentioned um, there was a, in, a, in an e email we were, when we were communicating um, about something called Seed Studio. Uh, can you um, explain what that is and what type of collaboration that you're working on? Yeah, Seed Studio is uh, very influential, uh, perhaps the most influential uh, company in China uh, in, in, you know, in their involvement in uh, supply chain. You know, uh, China is like a, a supply chain to the world, manufacturer to the world. Uh, Seed Studio was founded by Eric, Eric Pan, who lived in Beijing. And, uh, and then migrated to Shenzhen when he first came here six years ago. He was amazed by uh, all the factories and, uh, you know, the high-tech space and, uh, and the community here, the maker community. And so he became, he became a very influential member of that, of that community by uh, starting working very closely with uh, the manufacturers and the makers. And... Uh, so he's been he's been he founded Seed Studio uh, six years ago, and uh, he has done very well for himself and has a staff of 120 employees. Uh, I've been to their uh, their company a couple of times, which is about a 45 minute drive from where I live. And w their specialty is helping makers develop their product, so they they do prototyping. And uh, they also, uh, fi you know, they match you with the right factory to do the prototyping. But they do most of the prototyping actually in-house, and that's hardware, so uh, software, and firmware. And then once you've developed your prototype, then they'll match you to the best factory based on uh, your parameters. And they've done so well at it that they've that they've attracted uh, s some of the largest companies in America. Uh, Microsoft, Intel, and uh, some, you know, some other Silicon Valley companies, and uh, actually they have, they have asked uh, me to help them uh, find an office in Silicon Valley and help them establish uh, a presence there so that they can work directly with Intel and some of the other manufacturers that need help here in China because they have developed a system that is very, uh, very efficient and very effective. 
And because they are a Chinese company, they have an advantage in helping American companies uh, find the best way to, you know, utilize the resources that are available here. And uh, where do you hope this project will, will be in the, in the near future? Uh, what project is that? Uh, the project you're working on with, with Seed Studio? Uh, you mean Betwine? Oh, oh yes. Uh, can you ex uh, explain what is the Betwine? Betwine is a wearable device. We, we're now in the midst of a Kickstarter campaign. You could go to Kickstarter and uh, you just type in uh, B-E-T-W-I-N-E -E, and you'll find the product. Uh, we have eight days left on our campaign. And uh, the product was is uh, unique in that uh, it's the first wearable device that allows you to directly, uh, we call POKE, P-O-K-E, communicate with uh, other users. Uh, it's a the wearable device can hang around your neck uh, or uh, wear as a, as a wristband or actually it, you can put it uh, most anywhere else. Uh, on a lapel or a zipper pull. Uh, and this product was, uh, is now, even now, and was developed in association with Seed Studio and then more recently with InnoCon, which is a new division of Foxconn. So it's, a, it's an incubator model that uh, takes on new projects to help them perfect their product and get it from from uh, alpha stage to beta stage and then into the mass production stage. So we're the very first company to be run through uh, the InnoCon incubator in uh, coordination with CE Studio. So we have very good uh, support from them and we've got a very good product now because of their participation. How do you see this as um, changing the supply chain, um, the global supply chain, this new what you're working on now, which, which seems pretty innovative and something new, something different? Well, you know, that remains to be seen. Uh, the, because of Foxconn's, uh, you know, knowledge base and, and experience, uh, in addition to C-Studio, uh, they've come together to create a new process uh, that is trying to implement uh, a new way of developing the supply chain, a new way of prototyping and developing the product. And our product was the first one to be uh, run through that system. And so far, so good. Uh, you know, we're just creating, we're in the process of creating the brand. We sold over a thousand units. Uh, the testing has gone very well. So the product seems very stable. And so if uh, we're able to uh, continue our, you know, our process of developing the product and then developing the brand, then we use that model to uh, work with uh, other makers who want to develop product and, and eventually uh, global brands. So it's, uh, it'll have a very strong impact if we have, uh, you know, good success, uh, you know, with this product in uh, you know, not just with the Kickstarter campaign, but um, more importantly, uh, the association or the partnership that uh, Seed Studio and Innocon have brought to us. So, are the our Seed Studio and Innocon are they are they focused on um, mass scale type of production, or do they do more? Is it like the supply chain? Is it is it focused on large production or smaller type of production? Well, obviously, you know, InnoCon, which is a division of Foxconn, which is one of the largest manufacturers in the world, OEM manufacturers, uh, you know, I think they would rather, uh, if there was a choice, they would rather see a large-scale production. But they also do small-scale. So they work with you. That's what InnoCon is all about. You know, you go to them to do the prototyping uh, for the hardware, firmware, for the ID design, uh, even software, and then you perfect the product through that, uh, you know, through the InnoCon division, and then of course, then from there it goes to Foxconn if the product does well, 
and they get big orders, then Foxconn would take on that business. So they, you know, they would probably opt for large-scale manufacturing since that's more suited for Foxconn. But uh, Seed Studio, uh, if you're working with them, they can handle small production, 1,000 pieces a month to 100,000 pieces a month, no problem. Does uh, Seed Studio do anything with 3D printing? Because I've, I've, I've been reading and hearing more and more about 3D printing and, and the maker movement and, and, and making things on a smaller scale. Do they, do they deal with that type of production? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I've been to their facility and they have a few, I think they have uh, two or three 3D printers. And they also have laser cutters, and uh, they're doing CAD and, and modeling. So right in their facility, they can do modeling. They do prototyping. They can make. They have a. They have like a, a little mini manufacturing uh, facility. So they can make IC board, PCBA, PCBA, and uh, they have chipsets. They have. They have parts and supplies right there in house. So they can make a simple model for you. They can uh, do the laser cutting of the product, uh, some uh, molding, and of course the 3D printing. So they're like a, a little uh, miniature prototype studio. And uh, but they don't do any production per se. They're more of a prototype house. And then from there it would go to one of their uh, participating. Uh, um, you know, factories that they work with within their own supply chain, which they have probably the best supply chain uh, of their type in all of China since they've been at it for six years. And there are so many factories here in Shenzhen, specifically uh, in the high-tech space. And regarding your Kickstarter project, what would be the benefit for people to um, contribute to the project? Well, there are two things, I think. Uh, number one, they get a really cool device uh, that's uh, very different from any other uh, activity tracker uh, because it not only uh, tracks your own activity, but you're able to share it to the people that are closest to you. And then there's another uh, feature in the device that allows you to connect directly to other people through a mobile app. So, for example, uh, in the mobile app, I would uh, click a button, and then that button would be like a poke or a tap on the shoulder. That would reach someone else and remind them, hey, you need to get up and get some exercise, or hey, how you doing? You know, just let you know you're thinking about them. And so it's a, a very nice gesture so the product uh, allows you to stay in very close contact no matter the distance. And then secondly, uh, you're contributing to a project that is, uh, is innovative in the sense that uh, it's produced by the Inocon and Seed Studio uh, cooperation, and, uh, which is run through the new model, and it would have a great impact, would show, uh, show them that this product and this model uh, you know, has has a, a very great chance for success. It would be very encouraging for everybody. And thank you, James, for sharing today about your project and about sharing these insights of what's going on in, in Shenzhen with the Seed Studio and in, in Inokan. You're most welcome. And I appreciate the opportunity to uh, be a part of your podcast and hope that uh, there's a benefit to those listening. And I'll provide the link to your Kickstarter project as well so that anyone who's interested could take a look at it. Thank you very much.